Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if the Windows Features box is empty or blank. So if you opened up Windows Features and there was nothing present in there, this tutorial should hopefully be able to address without too much of a hassle. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Just I'll click on the Start button one time. Type in Services. Best match should come back with services here. Left click on that one time. You want to scroll down to the Windows Modules Installer. So scroll down here. Double click on it. You want to set startup type to automatic. So click inside this drop down. Select automatic. Startup service status. You want to click on start and then left click on apply and OK. Once you're done that, close out of here, restart your computer and see if that's resolved the problem. Another thing you can try would be to open up the start menu, type in CMD. Best match should come back with command prompt. You want to right click on that and then left click on run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. So you could run a system file checker utility here, so SFC space forward slash scan now. Again, SFC, and then there's a space, forward slash, scan now. There should be a space in between the SFC and the forward slash. Hit enter on your keyboard. This will take some time to run, so you just might have to be patient on this. So let that run. Hopefully it identifies if there's any issues, and then you should restart your computer. If you are still experiencing prompts after you've restarted your computer, open back up the start menu again, type in CMD. Right click on it run as administrator. Again, if you receive a user account control prompt, you want to left click on yes. And now there's going to be another command I'm actually going to have in the description of my video because it's a little bit longer. It's a DISM command, so you want to copy exactly as it appears in my description. Go up to the top bar of the command prompt window, right click on it one time, left click on edit, and then left click on paste, hit enter to run the command. And again, this will take some time to run here so you just want to let it go all the way through. I don't really feel the need to actually go through just waiting for it to wrap up. It will take some time to run so it should be pretty automatic though. So once it's all done I would suggest restarting your computer as well and hopefully that should be alright and you would be able to open back up the Windows feature list once you're done doing all this and hopefully there should be some entries in there. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.